Hey everybody, happy day. This is Jeff Yenser from HowToWordPressVideo.com with another video tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about images, optimizing your images for the web, making them look good and making them look nice on your website, how to get them positioned and sized correctly. I have some images that I've taken with my camera and I'm going to click on one. You'll notice here, this is just Windows Explorer. I'm just exploring on the hard drive where I have this image saved. When I click on it, or if I hover over it, it shows me the same information. The dimensions is what I want to look at. 3264 by 1824, that's in pixels. Now, pixels are the little dots that make up your screen and your monitor. And that size right there is actually way bigger than your entire monitor. Way too huge for the internet. These programs, uh, such as Joomla and WordPress, I'm gonna show you how to actually upload these to both of those. You know, you've got little handles in there and you can resize things. So what's the matter with just uploading this the way it is and resizing it within the program? Well, file size. It's still a huge file. It takes a long time to download. If a person has a slow connection, say they have dial-up or maybe they're in an office with a lot of people sharing the same connection, it's going to make the page load really slow. And actually, uh, looking at this from an SEO perspective, the Google Webmaster Guidelines say that they look at how fast your web page actually loads. So you want it loading as efficiently and streamlined as possible. So you want to sh shrink this image down to a more reasonable web size before you go uploading it to your website. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this. Working in Windows, I'm able to click Preview. And this brings that up. And this is actual size. And you can see I'm scrolling around the image here. It's bigger than my actual monitor by far. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to edit this in an image editing program. I'm going to pick paint because it's something that a lot of people have already. You could use Photoshop. Um, you can find free image editors on the internet like GIMP 2.0. But for our purposes today, I'm going to just click resize. I'm going to work in pixels. The 3,000 and something, I'm going to change to 500. Now, 500 is still a pretty good size image for a web page. It's going to look fairly large on your web page. And this one, you know, if you make it 500, you can always uh, use the handles to resize this. You're still going to have a reasonable file size. It's a good um, working size for the internet. If you wanted just like a thumbnail size image, you could make it 150. A lot of images are two to 300. So just, you know, decide uh, how you're actually going to use the image. You might actually save two or three versions of it to use in different circumstances. But we're going with 500 for right now and click an OK. And then I'm going to go file, save as a JPEG, that's a good format for the internet. Uh, JPEG, now let's talk about the file name. I'm going to make this something simple, just geraniums, and click save. Now, don't make your file names long and convoluted. Don't use spaces. Don't use special characters. I've seen some of these programs like Joomla and WordPress and so forth just choke because someone had made a file um, and it had this really long name and it had spaces and all kinds of stuff. Keep it short, descriptive, so you know what it is, and, and make it simple and easy. I'm going to take this lavender one. I'm going to work with that one today also. Preview that one and open it in paint. Resize. Pixels. 500. Click OK. File, save as, save it as lavender. There we go. So we got our images now saved on the hard drive the way that we want them. So I'm going to jump over to Joomla. Now I am editing an article. I've got some text down here, and I've got the cursor positioned where I want the image to go. I'm going to click on the Insert Edit Image button here. Now, what I want to do is click Upload over here. Now, just a quick side note. You could put in a URL here. Um, if you found an image on another website somewhere that you wanted to use, 
you could stick that in here. What's the problem with that? You're relying on that other website to actually provide the image. It actually serves from their website. If their website goes down, if they delete the image, if they change the image, if they do something uh, with that image, move to another server, put it in a different directory or anything like that, your image goes away and it no longer shows up on your website. So the best um, course of action there is to actually save the image to your hard drive, then upload it again. Now, sometimes I'll use this because it's quick and easy. And if I'm coming from, say, a site like YouTube, for example, I think it's pretty reliable. It's going to be there for the long haul, I think, anyway. So you might use it in, in you know, a quick situation like that where you want to save a little effort. But for today, we're working with an image that came from a camera on the hard drive. So we need to come over here to upload, hit browse, and find our image that we made with the geraniums. There it is. Double click. And then we need to click send it to server. Don't come down here and click OK. It won't work. <laughs> you got to click send it to server first. And now it's been successfully uploaded, brings you back to this page, and you can see in the URL's been filled in, it's on our website, herbfest.net, and uh, so it'll be there for us. It shows, you can resize this again if you want, and um, I might just go ahead and make it a little bit smaller for, for our purposes today. I like to use this H space and V space. What does that do? It gives it a little bit of breathing room around the text that's on the page. Um, so I'm going to put in a 12 in H space and in V space. Now the align, you'll notice the pictures there and all the text is under it. It shows you that demi dummy text there. I'm going to click left. OK. Now you can see come down here there's my image on the left all the text is floating to the right and there's some breathing room there that's a result of those twelves that I put in there now what happens if I open this up again and look at it say I wanted it on the right there's a lot of choices here I almost always only use left or right and click OK now see the image is on the right and the text is floating all to the left. Even though I started, my cursor was over here on the left is where I stuck the image in there. That float to the left or right function makes the image move from one side of the screen to the other and flows the text around it nicely. And now I'm going to go ahead and just click save. Now I'm going to jump over here to WordPress and show you real quickly over here. I've got this uh, lavender video here. There's only a little bit of text on this page, but we'll work with it. Upload insert image and choose file to upload, select. Okay, so here's the image on my hard drive, lavender. Double click, it loads it. Now here, I have to press insert into post, just like I had to uh, select uh, send a server in Joomla in WordPress insert into post if you click save all changes it doesn't put it in your post <laughs> okay it also gives you some default sizes to choose from here and you have your alignment the left the right and so forth right there um, some alt text you could give it some alt text if you like that helps your SEO a little bit you could give it a caption if you wanted to, I'm going to go ahead, click insert into post, and there it is. Now, I actually have to go back into this by clicking on the image, and this little uh, picture thing, edit image appears. Click on that, and now I can get to my advanced settings where we have the vertical space of 12, which is the same as the V space, H space over in Joomla. You can see it had modified the code right there for us automatically. Click Update. And there it is. I'm going to click Update here. Click Preview Changes. And there it is.